Okay, so let's go ahead and work problem number three now. Um, we'll go over here to our problems. Quickly copy this one over. We're going to use solver to solve this one, just like we have on some of the others. Um, Merge and center, left align, wrap text. Um, okay, now I can read this decently well. Um, go ahead and um, see how we make it from here. So. First thing I'm going to do, uh, I'll go ahead and make the screen just a little bit bigger just for ease of viewing. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, as always, first thing we're going to do is read the problem. A manufacturer produces two products, a portable player and a smartwatch. The production process for each problem is similar in that both require a certain number of hours of electronic work and a certain number of labor hours in the assembly department. Each portable player takes four hours of electronic work and two hours in the assembly shop. Each smartwatch requires three hours in electronics and one hour in assembly. During the current production period, 240 hours of electronic time are available and 100 hours of assembly department time are available. Each player yields a profit of $7 each watch sold is for a $5 profit. What's the best possible combination of players and watches to maximize profits? Um, so a pretty easy um, problem as far as it's pretty straightforward. Um, let's go through and kind of figure out where we want to put everything. Uh, we know that there's two things we're making. We're doing a portable um, player and that's straight from the problem and a smart watch and once again straight from the problem and we know that um, the number of hours required to make this um, has two different types there's electronic and then there is um, labor okay and Let's see, the portable player um, and the electronic takes four hours and two hours in the assembly shop, which is where the labor is done. And I'm just reading that from right up here, the labor hours in the assembly department, um, so for two hours. The smartwatch takes three hours of electronics. and one hour in assembly. Okay. Um, next thing that I'm going to look at in there is I need the profit here. The player has a profit of seven dollars and the watch has a profit of five dollars. If I wanted to go ahead and put that in dollars I can. Okay. Um, the next thing that I wanted to do up here though is I have some constraints. And as I look up here, my constraints are that um, electronic time is 240. 
40. So it's going to be less than or equal to. And um, labor hours are less than or equal to 100 hours. And once again, I'm getting all those straight from the problem up here. Um, okay. And then um, next thing that I'm going to want to do. Just trying to standardize the column size a little. There we go. Um, let's look at our quantity produced. How many of each one are we going to make? Okay. And then I need the um, total. Um, electronic and the total labor. Okay, and then I'm going to need the overall profit. And I'm getting all those from here. I'm just wanting to show that they are accumulated. And the quantity produced here. I'm going to get the electronic cost times the quantity that I produce. And to make it easier to drag that over and just slow down, I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of that. And pull this there. And then down by one. And once again, I want these to be all about the same. Um, same width for all the columns. Go ahead and wrap the text on these. And okay. Took a guess on the number of columns earlier there that I wanted to merge. Okay, now everything's looking pretty decent there. Let's make this a little bit nicer looking. Okay, and for our overall profit, um, yeah, everything looks good there, so all of our formulas look good. Um, I'm going to need to get a total here of the profit. So now then I'm taking this total, that total, and that total. Everything's looking pretty good there. And the overall profit, what's the best possible combination of players and watches to maximize um, the profit? So maximizing my profit is what I'm going to want to do to find out the um, quantity produced. And to do that, we're going to go over here to Solver. Um, and we see here that on the H6, we're going to maximize that by changing the quantity produced. And we're going to make that subject to the total labor hours um, for electronics. It has to be less than or equal to um, 240. And the total labor hours needs to be less than or equal to 100. Okay, everything looks good there. Let's do the simplex there. No negatives. And that should give us an answer here. OK. 
Okay. And we see here uh, that the best possible combination of players and watches to maximize profits is 30 players and 40 watches. Okay, so we have a question there. What's the best pop possible combination of players and watches to maximize profit? Um, we've gone and done the um, calculations for that. We have a nice, clearly stated answer here. Um, double check everything. It looks good. Um, bum, bum, bum. Yep. So, like the way that that worked. If I wanted to, I could go through and put... Uh, profit in dollars here, I might as well, um, just to be consistent with over there. Um, but no need to really do a lot of fancy formatting other than uh, that. So.